Hey, James! Welcome back to my sinful gear reactions! I'm recording this right after I record the GX specials, which I didn't talk about too much, so I have the time to record the first episode of Season 4, which is AXZ? Yeah, I have no idea what those letters mean at all. Not that I have any idea what G and GX meant. But, uh, yeah, first episode usually ends up being short. I mean, the only example I can give is with Season 3. Because Season 2, I kinda went overboard and just decided to pinpoint a bunch of things where Excuse me, production quality was amped up, but uh, season 3 seems to be about the same amount of uh, production quality, which is really good. And um, I don't know what we're gonna be seeing here. Last time in season 3, beginning the beginning of season 3, I remember loving the heck out of that performance, that concert bit. And then also the bit with uh, the, 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 the crashing space shuttle. And then there's also a, like a little glimpse as to what kind of evil we should be fighting or little division would be fighting, which is alchemy and all that. Uh, so I'm expecting similar things where we tie in the end of the last season, the kind of similar to how the space shuttle was. And then we tie in like very, some small amounts of slice of life moments, that'll be great. And then we just kind of put in, this is what's going to happen next. And that's going to be great. Okay, so... As usual, there's gonna be two versions of this reaction video, my favorite. <laughs> a Patreon Patreon version which you can find in the description below and a timer based version which you are watching right now. If you want to sync up your own media to the timer based version, you can do that with a 5 second countdown, it's gonna count down from 5. Because that's what countdowns do and, and that 0 and the sound of a beep is the same frame my video starts playing on my screen. They do this timer! Oh, so new OP? Do we get the new OP yet or no? I don't think we got the new OP immediately. Juice start of term. Ooh, the light. Oh my god, the light. Um. Oh my god, she looks so detailed. Her face. Uh, I think we changed the way we the way we do the outlines as well. A tiny bit. Why is it so not loud enough? There we go. It didn't stop recording, so it's okay. Sorry. Hey, hugs. Oh my god, that little bit of movement that we saw there. <laughs> it's a helicopter. <laughs> okay, that's really cool. Oh my god! The CG looks way better than even last season. Oh my god, the lighting! Um... <laughs> OP? No. Is that a dragon? Is that a freaking? Okay, it's not a dragon. I wanted the dragon in the show. Uh, what kind of dragon are we gonna go for? But I want a dragon. Explosions! What are these guys? Look, look, military men, yeah. Mm. What? Hey, those are Alkanoids. So they learned how to create them. Some people learned how to create them. Oh my god, yes. <laughs> it's just ro running them over. <laughs> Sweep of the rider's blade. Of course, that's what you would name it. Um, a kite. A a, a kite. <laughs> and Oga was with them. Heck yeah. What is? What are those? Kind of cute. Oh, smoke screen. Yeah, smoke screen. Oh my god, Ogawa! He's just a magician right now. Oh my god! Oh my- <laughs> He's in the front lines as well right now. He mostly does, like, a uh, recon, right? And infiltration. It just helps out a tiny bit. Slice through it! Slice through it! 
Hell yeah! <laughs> Oh my god! <laughs> of course, okay. <laughs> Just punching them away. Deflecting all all the shells. <laughs> Okay, that's impressive. Not no damage. My boob armor is really powerful. Bounce. <laughs> <It's> a... <laughs> you think it's just the tank <laughs> fighting against the tank? Oh my god! The voice actress for Hibiki really just has no regard for her throat whenever she screams. And I kinda like it. <gasps> oh my! <gasps> hey! Hey, she's here! Of nine! Nice. Another shell, okay. Oh! Oh! Oh no, Chris! Nice! Hold your ground! And throw it back! Throw it back! Oh, yeah! I like that we're not really killing people here. <laughs> Running away from this shit. What? Big noise. Huh? Did you have that ready? Okay, Maria, what is she? Well, what are they gonna do? They're just gonna bomb them? Oh. Ah, oh, you jinxed it. Okay. What do you what do you mean two that looks that doesn't look like two playing the same game. Anyways. Okay. <laughs> nice. Oh my god. <laughs> We're going all out, okay. Song's great as well. The harmonies is great. The back and forth, yeah. The back and forth as well. <laughs> anime. <laughs> okay, let's make it more anime. Giant ass sword. <laughs> oh, we definitely killed some people there. <laughs> Oh my god, it didn't die. Um, punch him. Here we can go for it. That is a drill. Nice. 
Nice. We're done. That was a hell of a way to reintroduce us to this. UN, okay. Are those, like, rations? Yeah, rations. Ah, oh, okay. What has, what, have been, what has been happening here? Is there like a tie back to the whole dad issues back then? Oh my god, their clothes are great. Especially Tsubasa. Uh, Tsubasa. <laughs> Reminded of something? Yes. Chris is being reminded of something. Ah. Shards. Bavarian Illuminati. Okay, we're with the Illuminati. Okay. What what exactly is the Bavarian though? Not entirely sure. Oh yeah, we were talking about Magical Girl last episode of season three. <laughs> to say it outright, that's great. Um uh, Subasa, no tact. I love two bosses in that outfit. Also, she received help. Okay. Wait, you do? Ah, interesting. So. I thought if this was ever to happen, it would be season 5, but sure, season 4. What is the magical girl incident? Hmm. Unstable at Okay. I don't know who that is. Valverde. Oh. Maybe he gets get a medal with Chris's affairs. <laughs> okay. No, no concert this time. We had that for the past three seasons. Okay, this is good too. <laughs> It's kind of scary. Oh, we only have one shot of the linker. What was that? <laughs> Notice the shininess. Okay. Um. Oh no! Someone's jelly. Oh my god, we're gonna switch from that to this. Really? No. Yeah, Chris Centric. Let's go. Um Oh my god. That's just wrong. Um Like that, there we go. Woo! Some slick uh, hair animation. Okay, so from a place. Uh, 
Okay, that is interesting. Okay. Oh, oh. Whoa. Whoa, that light was really well done. Oh my god. Yeah, you're our tank. <laughs> Hey, new new transformation sequence. Nice. Okay. Gang near. Hell yeah. The sound effects fit so well. Use, she uses very similar stances to uh, Genjiro. I wanna see Genjiro fight again! <laughs> they did such a good job with the lights. Ooh, nice. Okay. Oh, we just destroyed the guns. Nice. That is a bow and arrow. Is that Artemis again? The Artemis move. Nice. Is that like a bomb? Oh no, good. Oh, that is huge. That is big! And it multiplies! Oh my god, those guys are dead. And death! Ah. Oh, oh! Artemis catch me up! Ooh, I freaking love the blue flames. Wings! Yeah, spring fit is played. There's no regard for the safety of anyone, huh? Maybe himself, but yeah. Hit lightning crap thunder. I just realized what they say. <laughs> nice. Spin barrier. Okay, magical girls. I don't know. Okay, that one is a frog. Um. Whatever this one is, I like her. <laughs> What, names that I will never remember. What the hell? <laughs> oh, okay. They're alchemists. Okay. I don't think that's gonna work. It's gonna happen. Oh! 
Are they actually using like the mark for something? Did that guy just cease to exist? No, we're deconstructing them. Yeah, we're deconstructing them. They're alchemists. Are we taking their souls or something? Okay, what are they trying to protect? It looks like from the same race as the person talking to Yukine. Yukine was blaming for something. Mm. Okay. What is that? That looks like a person. Watch, they already know they're there. Guns are kind of useless. So yeah, I think we are taking their souls. We just summon something? We're summoning something. Oh no. Ah! These guys have recurring characters. I don't think they're gonna die. Oh no. It used Dig. It was super effective. What are we counting up to? 77,777 because numerology is a bitch. <laughs> Or maybe just a 100,000 for a well-rounded number. What? What? Hey, it's them. You don't have linker though. You have one shot, but still. Okay, let's go. I've heard this song before, right? I don't know if I have. Never mind. Okay, this was an episode. It was quite fun. Ah, uh, okay. We went immediately to the story. Not, no, not that much filler this time. Which, uh, it's kind of sad. I like the filler in this show because we don't overdo it, and the filler is quite fun to watch. It's just our characters having fun. It's great. Um, no, I've not heard this song before. Never mind. Is there more at the end? Maybe. Let me see. We have over a minute left. Okay. Let's see what's up. That's nice. I like this. Are we just gonna do the full song then? Huh. 
By shedding many tears, the reality you face is... Dot dot dot. Wow, that is one hell of a subtitle. Are we done? I think we're done. Yeah, we're done. Yeah, yeah, yeah we're done. Okay, let's talk about this episode. First of all, whoa! Freaking no, 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 you get, it all it really feels like it's a camera doing it so it's great uh, they look slightly different I wouldn't say older but maybe maybe wait ah fuck it, it, huh come here come here okay now we'll start recording again come on 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 okay there we go um yeah they look slightly older and something I said in the first episode of season two was uh, they made them look less like blobs. <laughs> Where uh, it really is weirding me out how uh, Hibiki and Tsubasa are of a, of a close age range, of the same age range, but uh, I think they upgraded a bit more than that. Where they definitely look like they're about the same age, almost. Yeah, on the same age range, you know, like late teens. So yeah. The lighting just never disappoints in this, like... The way that's shaded over here, you can't see my mouse, never mind. But <laughs> the way the lights are shaded just works so perfectly well. Yeah, the shadows and everything are great. Wow, this is one hell of a scene right here. Um, I need my notebook. Uh, I love the whole helicopter gag, but it just uh, makes perfect sense, like... It's one, of, it's one of the times where uh, he, this show decides to be a bit more realistic and it's quite funny. I like the little thing of they he can't hear they can't hear him. So yeah. I don't know if this is foreshadowing of uh, the little dragon earlier, but I thought I honestly thought it was a dragon. It's a crocodile. Um wait, what? Why is it not recording for Why is VLC crashing on me? It's freezing, not crashing. What the hell? What the hell is going on? Uh, the whole sequence, the fight sequence was really fun, the first one. I like it more than the second one, even though both are really good. The first one just does what uh, this show does really well, which is create insane fight scenes with... Uh, there's two ways that they usually do fight scenes. It's one is that it's so insane that it's not, but it's just kind of... Just, it's kind of unbelievable the way they do things, but it's just kind of fun to watch because of how crazy it is. And then the second one is that combined with just high stakes emotional, not high emotional stakes for all of our characters. And we usually do the first one, the former, in the very beginning of the shows and we get that until about the, the halfway point. And then later on we get a lot of really, really emotionally charged fights that are still just as crazy. Like, one of my favorite scenes in this episode was literally um, uh, Shirabe, Maria, and Kiri letting a, letting a missile through one window of a helicopter through the other. That's insane because theoretically speaking, you could do that in theory. But it's basically a miracle to actually have to do that when, while it's in midair and everything. So, yeah. Uh, and then there's also the fact that Hibiki uses uses a tank to sh to smash another tank <laughs> and he is just a tank in of herself and it's kind of great um let's go through some story stuff now i don't know is there something i want to look at here apparently there's something i want to look at here no oh first of all there's this this is very nice i love this the whole sequence where we showcase hibiki just not flinching from her stance and just being the tank that she is, it's quite fun to watch, especially with the explosions in the background. Uh, it's all about story stuff. So, the Illuminati, Bavarian... I'm gonna look that up. I'm gonna look up Bavarian Illuminati, actually. Let's see if, if that's a real thing. Because apparently, so everything here is a real thing. You just kinda do it. You just kinda do it in a fictional manner, so it's kinda half fiction. Uh, Illuminati. 
Oh, so it's literally just the Illuminati. Huh. Yeah, it's literally just the Illuminati. Okay, so it's it's just founded in Bavaria. That's why it's called Bavarian Illuminati. Uh, the guy that read a bunch of things about that. Mostly fiction, actually. I read a lot of fiction about the Illuminati. It was quite fun. Um, <laughs> they're usually fun. Because uh, uh, a lot of the times it just kind of falls flat. But at the end, but eh, it's okay. Um, freaking... Uh, the, 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 I forgot the name. Let's, let's just not do that. Okay, let's see. Ah, uh, helicopters and they're on top of it and it's great. Like again, in theory with what we have in this universe, this could all work even though it's it's weird. It's great at the same time. <laughs> okay, so the, the Illuminati is giving away Alkanoids and of course the Illuminati has alchemists. Uh, it makes perfect sense. Um, I want to look at the symbol of the Illuminati again. Some point. Oh, the light here is really nice as well. The little shing, the little shing, the little kid up. Can Hibiki just make a bunch of different things with her uh, arm? Arm now? That was just a drill. It's ah, oh, it's so crazy the way you look at it, and the wind effects are also really nice to look at. Okay. Uh, okay. Okay, Chris, we kind of already knew that Chris came from a very dark background and he, she was saved by some people in the UN and then later with Dajiro. But uh, I get the feeling that um, I, wonder, I wonder exactly what her past is like. Because based on the mini flashbacks that we get, it seems to be she, she was in a war zone, a lot of people died, and people are want her because of something about her power of being attuned maybe so yeah that is such a sad life that she lived as a kid and their outfits are great so yeah <laughs> maria kiri and shirabe are not doing much because they're in the background they only have one shot more of linker and then they're gone of it and i'm pretty sure that at this point dr ver is dead like uh i i honestly don't want to see dr ver again not because i think that He's a bad character, I think he's a really good character. But Dr. Ver, I think, went out the best way possible. So, <laughs> if, he, if he survived that, I would just find it kind of cheap. Um, I like this little bit where Tsubasa is just kind of clueless about the whole idea where I told her that uh, she might have just missed me. But apparently not. <laughs> We're doing this in an official report. <laughs> Official report to basically the UN because they're under the UN now. So I like that Elf Nine is part of the team now. Elf Nine is part of the team where they they do the research, they do they do all the the boring stuff, and freaking Ogawa is in the front lines. Freaking love the guy. He has so many. He has such a skill set. Like um, I want to see. I want to keep seeing Ogawa fight simply because. He keeps surprising me with the kind of shit he pulls out of his ass. So... <laughs> okay, so the plan is to distract uh, Song and make it so that the alchemist can get what they want. Gotcha. Um, okay, I just, I'm just gonna point this out. I'm sorry, YouTube. Don't mind, don't mind this part for a bit. But uh, they did a... It's something that you can really tell a lot of the times is... Uh, if, if a show really wants you to focus on certain assets, is that they would make... You can't see my mouse. That you, they would make certain parts of the, of the human body quite shiny so that you actually focus on it. So, so an example of that would be, you can't see my mouse. Why do I keep encircling my mouse around it? But um, um, you can see that the shoulder here on Hibiki makes it a bit more... Makes her boobs a bit more prominent. It's quite fun to do that. Okay, anyways, let's not talk about that anymore. Um, Chris is thinking of the past, there's there's some kind of war going on, and it seems like the guy that they were after is, uh, is, is, is has a connection towards it. This would be really interesting if Chris were to go on a revenge arc. That would be really fun, because as we see so far, all of our girls, or all of the Simple Gale users, they all have one thing in common, and that is the simple fact that they don't really kill people. They, they kill the noise and save literally anyone else. 
which is gonna be really difficult if uh, Chris is going on a revenge rampage. So that'll be kind of fun to see where uh, she gets slapped by Hibiki or something. Uh, I also like the little bit where Hibiki suddenly uh, looks at Chris when she realizes that, oh, Chris knows this person. It's like, ooh, my meddling instincts are tingling. <laughs> okay, um... What else do I need to talk about? Oh, the lights! The lights are really fun to look at in this. First of all, transformation sequence, yes. She just goes full kung fu here. It's not even kung fu. What am I talking about? But the lights, the the way the lights here look with the... I forgot what they're called. The little flare on them. It's, it's very realistic. They, not realistic. What's the word for it? It's like, uh, it's photorealistic. Is that the word? It's like uh, if you were to put on a light like that in this darkness, that that is what exactly it would look like. And it's quite fun to look at. Um, this guy doesn't give a shit. He's even gonna make the chemical weapons explode. Kinda curious, what are the chemical weapons exactly? Huh, interesting. You know, when I first heard chemical weapons, I thought they were just manufacturing a different kind of noise altogether. But it seems that based on the concern of the other soldiers or the people around here, it seems like it's something completely different. Okay. Uh, what else? Do I need to talk about anything else? This is quite fun. Um, they're nice. But I like the big booby glitch. <laughs> Sorry. But uh, I will never remember. Like, I like this one. She looks like... Where the... She looks like someone from a different anime. I can't think of. I can't think of it, but it's literally someone out there. Mm, I can't think of it. Uh, if I remember, I'll try to edit it in, but uh, I'll try to edit in the text, but I probably won't remember, so it's probably an empty thing that I'm holding up. Anyways. Uh, they're collecting souls or some kind, or the energy that is within a human being, because, you know, E equals mc squared yay matter equals energy basically matter equals energy in some if added some other stuff and um so are we taking like all of that energy like that so that's gotta be really powerful if we were to do it that way uh if we're still abiding by the rules of alchemy like that were set out uh we're either going beyond that and collecting their souls which is gonna go go into full metal alchemist territory where uh, souls are just kind of a cheat code, where it's like full, it's a condensed energy. And, um, or we just literally take the materials and then turn them into energy. The materials making up the person. I don't know. But uh, anything else? There's, they seem to be counting it, I don't know. These, this team doesn't seem to be quite suited for what they're fighting, to be honest. That's an issue. Uh, they seem to really focus on the eyes and the brown skin on this character, which makes me think that she's either related to the person that Chris was saying that yours is your fault, or they're from the same race. They're very different. Okay. And then there's a dragon, because why not? Yeah, dragon. I like dragons. <sighs> I think we're done. Okay, that is it for me for now. So... This was a good first episode. The insane battles that I'm so used to, but still can't get enough of from this show. Still as insane. And uh, they just keep kind of, not really one-upping it, but surprising me, surprising me with how different of an insanity the show this time around. I'm kind of sad that we didn't get a concert because we got that in season one, season two, and season three. In the first episode, I want one. I want a concert, I want a concert sequence. Uh, at the very end, please, season 5, I want there to be a sequence where it's literally uh, all the girls in concert because they all sing, right? So, <laughs> that's all that matters, right? Uh, no one's gonna bat an eye over the fact that there's two like huge superstars in the singing world and then just five kids. No one's gonna bat an eye there. It's okay. Anyways, it's okay.
If you want to see the next episode of the Rain Discussion, we can review everyone else who can do that with a big one link below. Really helps me out. You don't have to, but if you can, please do. You can also vote in polls. Early access is mentioned, and if you want to, leave a like on the video, subscribe to the channel. Really helps out, especially since most people watch the PAP. Anyways, bye!